What's up? Good morning. We are here. I told you guys last video that we were going to switch things up a little bit and start doing a uh, different kind of intro instead of just sitting in the car right before I walk into the gym because I feel like I'm a little bit rushed there. Uh, I just got done doing my morning cardio, so we're going to enjoy the typical... I can't really show y'all. I guess I could lift this up a little bit. Fruity Pebbles. That's what I like to eat, man. It's, what I, it's my go-to, typically. Mm. And again... Reason being is because when you're eating cereal, man, post cardio workout, you know, I would recommend a little bit more protein if you're lifting. But when you're doing something like this, you're getting most of your electrolytes back in, except for magnesium, which I take a magnesium supplement post workout. So that's something I'm kind of working on right now is uh, trying to get my supplement regimen kind of down. I told you guys yesterday too, I started fenugreek and zinc. Um, actually, I actually got them right here. Boom. That's the fenugreek. Um, actually, this is a large, large portion of fenugreek. I think for testosterone boosting effects, you only need like half of what a serving of this is. <laughs> it's a funny thing too, believe it or not. Um, this is for, this is actually, if you look at the bottle, I don't know, it'll be backwards because I have that front facing camera or maybe not. Uh, but it, uh, <laughs> It's a lactation support supplement as well. So when we give it to women for lactation support, like, you know, when they have a baby and they're lactating and stuff and you're wanting to breastfeed, you typically will give them like three grams or three to six grams a day. I mean, it's a large portion compared to like just for testosterone boosting. So um, this is all they had in Kroger. So I went ahead and got it, but I only take a serving a day, dude. It's, it's a lot, um, but it should help boost the testosterone. Um, it's the same reason for lactation support. I would imagine the reason it's good for lactation support is it increases in women, increases testosterone, which turns and converts into estrogen. A lot of people don't know that that testosterone typically will convert into estrogen a lot of times, especially if you need it. Um, so that's a thing. Uh, another supplement I'm looking at is uh, a natural supplement that kind of works on stopping that process, like preventing uh testosterone turning it into estrogen and stuff like that. I think it's called DIM is the supplement, DIM. You guys can look that up if you want to. It's something I'm thinking about getting into, um, but I'm very hesitant when it comes to any kind of estrogen blocker type of thing because it's just, I've done estrogen blocker way back in the day, like probably like six years ago, um, seven or eight now, honestly, seven years ago, I would say, but it just made my joints feel terrible just because estrogen is like the main hormone that like, actually lubricates your joints so like that's a big eh, i need those so um i might play around with it i may not we'll see what happens i'm gonna see how this fenugreek does with me i'm also taking zinc as well right now um you know along with vitamin d i've done been taking vitamin d but uh, all three of those should help boost testosterone naturally so that's the route i'm going with as far as supplementation and testosterone goes you know but as far as post-workout meal you guys know how it goes we got some simple carbs, we got some electrolytes, we got some protein. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did wake up in the middle of the night and eat a little bit. I ate actually handfuls of rice, or uh, I keep wanting to call them Rice Krispies, of uh, Fruity Pebbles, like by the handful. And I went ahead and tracked it. Like that happens to me sometimes. Sometimes I do do that, which it's not a good thing that I do that. It's definitely a sign that like, I'm getting deeper and deeper into the dieting week and the cravings are getting more intense, which fenugreek actually does help with the cravings as well. But um, the main thing is I got to make sure I don't do that shit. But I, I also will make sure I track it the next day. Um, it's not like I'm not tracking it. I think where a lot of people mess up is they mess up like that. And then that the next day they just say, screw it. I'm not going to diet today. And that's not, you don't need to do that. I'm telling y'all, y'all can... As long as you track it, it's going to be okay. You just need to, you need to see where you're at. Okay. I promise you. But today is an arm day. So it's going to be a fun workout day. I'm going to try and make sure I forgot yesterday to take some salt before the gym. And I was, I, I did well on my hydration yesterday. I got a gallon and a half in. So we're good to go today. Um, so I'm going to try and get a little bit more salt in today. Uh, you know how it goes. A quarter of a teaspoon before the work, workout. This will be my, uh, honestly, last meal before the gym. Because I probably don't need anything in my stomach. Um, save the calories for post-workout because I'm getting pretty hungry and I want those. So we'll deal with it that way. But I'm going to finish this up and then I will see you guys in the gym for the arm day. Almost fucked up and uh, didn't 
Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have you all over my eyes. But I didn't have you guys, uh, I'm just gonna do that. This thing's easier. I didn't uh, put the audio on, I almost forgot. But we're gonna be doing tricep uh, cable skull crushers. I haven't done skull crushers. In it's been a long time since I've done some skull crushers. So I wanted to throw these back in here. Shoulder wise today, we've been putting a lot of details into the shoulder. So I think we're just gonna hit some uh, Arnold presses today, throwing some rear delt raises or flies in. Uh, and then bicep wise, I was thinking preacher curls, but we'll see. I also, again, I still wanna do the incline curls have been my jam so far, but let's, uh, let's get this first set done. It was good, it's just, I don't know, every time I do these, I always feel a little bit off. Something I'm focusing on is trying to make sure I go all the way out with these specifically. Uh, you know, your tricep is an elbow extender. It's the way I've been told. So you do wanna straighten it out. You just don't wanna hyper extend. It's a key difference between that, but I'm gonna maybe try and see if I can find like 10 more pounds to snap on there and we'll give it another good old fashioned try. Ugh. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try doing one arm at a time, just because I feel like, honestly, I feel like I get a better squeeze out of it from doing that. And that's, I, I kind of want to work on getting some unilateral work in with the arms again. So, why don't we do that? Let's do that. <clears throat> See if I can get set up for it correctly. Ugh. Lost a sandal. Right, I gotta put you all over here. Oh, dude, that's solid. <sighs> yeah, actually, I like those a lot. So I'm, I'm actually gonna bump the weight down. We're gonna get two more sets of that of like 12 on each side, a slower range of motion. It's not a bad squeeze. It's just not like a deep squeeze like I'm looking for. There's a, uh, and the way we're gonna attack these today is we're gonna take care of triceps, then shoulders, and then biceps. So, the thing I think I'm gonna hit next is uh, underhand tricep extensions, which I haven't done in a long time either. But I might make that for TikTok today, like just do a 
separate recording, and then next arm day we'll go over that kind of stuff. You guys will get that later. But anyways, uh, I definitely want to focus on doing some kind of overhead tricep extension as well today because uh, I'm trying to hit that part of my tricep a little bit more. I mean, I'm still hitting it when I do overhead movements too, but you know what I mean. It's just something I want to do a little bit more of, but let's get, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more weight and then we'll do one more set. Yeah, that set was definitely the best set for sure. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead, cause I do wanna do a pose out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the triceps and then I'll see you guys probably, we'll go ahead and record some Arnold presses next. So I don't know if my triceps are just burnt. They're probably, I don't think about it. They're probably just burnt from uh, doing what I just did, which was a lot of try, I did like three tricep movements. And uh, with these armor presses, man, I, I mean, I usually use about 35 to warm up, and then maybe 45, 50s for the, the working sets. But like, I did my 35s today, and I was like, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel the cut kicking in. Uh, that being said, I think I'm feeling the fenugreek and zinc doing some work as well. Specifically the fenugreek, I can smell it. One of the side effects of fenugreek when you take it it's good for testosterone, but also it makes your pee smell like maple syrup. I don't know if you guys knew that part. It's neat. It smells good. It's just strange. So, do with that information as you will. I'm going to go ahead and start this next set. I dropped down to 27.5s, uh, and we're going to fucking destroy these Arnold presses. <sighs> and the reason I wanted to drop down, too, is I'm really, like I said, my muscle connection. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. One more. Ten. Okay. Alright, I was starting to think this was too light and then we got to like fucking ten. <laughs> so uh, let's take it a little bit slower on this next set. And so I've just about given up on the copyright, trying to keep it from get, these videos from getting copywritten. Like, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> There's, it's just so, it's so loud. Also, I'm sure like once I, uh, once I uh, start playing around with some other equipment I've got, again, I've said this a billion times, it's just I haven't gotten to it yet. But uh, switching over to using the, the GoPro, which would be a little bit more, you know, handy to do with, deal with. Uh, and would be nice to kind of edit the videos a little bit more accordingly so. But we're working on it. We're working on a lot of things. You guys know how it goes. Uh, I'm trying to imagine my shoulders like a fan if that makes sense so when it gets here it's like i'm almost trying to rotate the fan if that makes sense i know that's going to be really weird but that's the way i'm thinking uh. 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 
I think that was 10. I think I'm gonna go up to 30 for this last one. Let's finish this. That was a good set. Woo. Keep that in mind, these 30s are fucking rocking with that. Ugh. That got me. All right, I'm gonna go get some flies in, Rudolph flies in, uh, and then we'll move on to some biceps. I'm not gonna lie, my arms are starting to feel pretty pumped up. I've already got a set done. We're gonna do four sets of the, uh, just alternating hammer curls. Um, I I'm gonna do three because we're running out of battery and I need to make sure we have plenty of juice to go ahead and do a quick pose out. And we gotta do like a recording on the on the way home too, which I think I actually have a car charger for that. But anyway, you know, you get the point. Let's get these going as a matter of fact. So the idea here is to use, I'm gonna use 40s the whole time, right? But I wanna try and make like each set feel a little bit harder than the last. That felt pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. That was a really good contraction. <laughs> Ooh, me like you. Okay, never mind. I mean, yes, stay, stay same, sorry. My brain's starting to get wacky. One of the ways we're gonna make this harder is by taking a really short break. So. <clears throat> That's gonna be intense. Ooh, I'm gonna give myself a little bit longer break. Already tracked my calories for the day too. For lunch, just a pound of beef, straight up. Like 85.15, with some garlic. I might throw some everything bagel seasoning in there. A little bit of different sea in there. A little bit of nut oil. Uh, but it's pretty good like that for me. I have no problem with it. Whew. All right, let's go. One more rest too long. Come on. Fix. Fix. <sighs> There we go, that's it. Ooh. That was a pretty good one. Those are pretty neat. Those are pretty chill. But I'm gonna go burn out on the uh, Preacher Curl machine real quick, and then we'll do a quick pose out. Goodness me. My allergies, they're not bad. It's just, uh, I definitely can feel, uh, feel something. I don't know, feel something in the sinuses. I've been hearing a lot of that, like, uh, you ever hear those ringing in your ears? That's what I've been feeling. That's the main thing. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty pumped. I did take a little bit of salt before. <sighs> Not bad. I mean, I definitely feel, don't feel like it's the best pump we've uh, had before. In fact, you can tell I'm starting to look flat in my stomach too. Uh, I'm low carved, that's for, that's for sure. Uh, y'all are almost at the perfect angle. I have y'all in a little bit of a different spot. A little low, that's okay. We'll go with it for now. I'll keep that in mind. Next time we'll get it a little bit heightened up, but I like this better than where we had it before. All right, let's try this one out. This arm.
Oh my goodness. <sighs> Need to do some more stretching on my wrist. Like I said, I don't have a lot of battery, so we're gonna make this quick, but. Uh, that's definitely starting to look better. Uh, all right. I don't have much energy to take, so we'll wrap it up. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of core, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of stretching. And I'll see you guys in the car. All right, workout is finished. And we're gonna head home. I haven't done a uh, a driving home vlog. <laughs> driving home vlog. Driving home at the end of the vlog in a minute. Um, so it's gonna be nice. I kinda like it, to be honest. Easier to get the minds and thoughts out. Okay, but relatively good uh, arm day I'm just I'm very much noticing I'm, I'm starting to get low on glycogen for sure uh, even with me like you know eating before the workout and stuff like that I ate a decent amount of carbs too like a decent amount um, we're just at that point in the diet where it starts really uh, you know it just starts really starting to get a starts God I can't even talk it starts to fuck with me fuck <laughs> starts to mess with my head dude uh not just my head but also with the lifts not be able to use as much weight not as good uh pumps I say not as good pumps it was a pretty good pump um but definitely not the best we've had am i right so like i said i don't think on uh saturday i guess is when i had that uh higher calorie day i don't think we went over 3,500 calories. I think we pretty much stayed within those. And that would mean we stayed under maintenance. According to the calculations, my maintenance is like anywhere between 3,800 to 4,200 calories, which is a big gap and a large amount of calories. And so, I don't know. I just noticed that I burn pretty well, burn fat pretty well at, you know, anywhere between 2,500 to 2,800 calories. And now that we're skipping the cheat meals, starting to add up so um the main thing is just make sure i'm being good until thanksgiving which i just started i started to think about it thanksgiving will fall on a chest day oh what a day to be thankful am i right um so that's gonna be a good workout i don't think i'll get any calories in before the actual workout uh because i'll be going i might i might try and get some breakfast in um but I'll be going to the gym. I'll be kind of switching my cardio and exercising out. I'll be doing my cardio in the evening on that day um, just because my schedule is going to be a little bit differently uh, and to make room for, we do Thanksgiving lunch instead of uh, you know dinner. So I think ours, you know, that's usually around the time I, I go to the gym. So I'm going to try and get that workout done in the morning, go eat a ton of food after the gym and then get like 30, 45 minutes of cardio after Thanksgiving dinner. Sounds like a pretty damn good plan to me, if you ask me. But tomorrow we got legs. So, um, dude, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, my legs are still fucked. Like, really fucked right now. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting up and down out of the like chairs. Um, they're just sore. They're really sore. I, I, I didn't record it. Um, we've been skipping a lot of freaking leg days recently, so I apologize on that half. But, they're fucked. <laughs> I did a set of 10 with 315. And we, I mean, the sets before that were like 225 for 10, 275 for 10, 315 for 10. So they were fucked. I mean, a lot of volume with a lot of heavy weight, uh, which is great. I just don't know what it means for this upcoming leg day. You know, <laughs> I kind of do want to get some hill elevated squats in tomorrow. We have not hit that in a minute. Um, so that would be fun. Maybe we'll do hill elevated front squats because I like the way those feels, and it's going to kind of make me stay. You know, if I do it that way, I'm probably not going to go above 135. Um, I get a good squeeze at that weight. Maybe 155, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But nothing too crazy. You know, keep it pretty mandatory. Probably some leg extensions. Probably some hamstring curls. 
I really do need to get a new gym membership just to kind of switch things up a little bit. I'm kind of getting bored with the equipment we got. Um, starting to notice that. Not get bored. I guess that's a bad way of saying it. I need to look up some other exercises with some free weights that I haven't maybe done in a little bit. Um, it's, it's one of those things, man. Even personal trainers, they get stuck up doing the same things um, for efficiency's sake. You know, well, you say efficiency's sake, but, like, it just makes sense as far as, like, hitting muscle groups and stuff, the equipment you have. Um, and as far as, like, what I'm making for you guys, I don't like doing the same, oh, completely the same stuff. You know what I mean? So I'll have to figure something out. We haven't done stiff legged deadlifts in a minute, so I guess that wouldn't be a bad idea. But I'll be honest, I'm kind of burnt out on those um, because we do deadlifts so often. So, I, you know, it's one of those things. I don't know if there's even a point in doing it. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Um, maybe some step ups, but we've been doing a lot of step ups recently, too. I don't know. There's so many things we could be doing for a leg day. Uh, but again, it's not. We'll, we'll get there tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll do some digging, find some stuff we haven't been doing in a minute. Um, because I'll, I'll be honest, legs kind of legs are kind of getting boring for me. Uh, yet I'm not. Uh, I'm not having any problems hitting them. You know what I mean? Like they're getting the, they're getting fucking hit. They're getting fucking hit. So, anyways, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap it up here for today. Your boy's tired. I'm ready to go eat. So I'm gonna go cook me up a pound of beef devour that, probably chug down a protein shake, then later tonight finish it out with a chicken sandwich, so, or chicken salad, rather, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace out.